Ready? Yes. Back during ancient and ancient times, Cleopatra asked Mark Antony to conquer the Dead Sea. Sometime after Mark Antony had taken possession of the land, Cleopatra got the exclusive right to win her own pharmaceutical spa. She knew of the benefits that the, set the Dead Sea offered to people. But do we know it? The Dead Sea contains different types of minerals that are beneficial to humans. Today, I want to give you some information regarding the Dead Sea history, benefits, and the product's availability in the U.S. used for skin and pharmaceutical care. The Dead Sea is located in the southernmost part of the Jordan Valley. It stretches throughout Israel and into Galilee and the into Negeva Desert as well as into the parts of the Red Sea. And I have a map here that shows where is it located. Here is the Dead Sea as you can see. And you have Jordan, I'm sorry, Israel and Jordan. And it runs up to the West Bank a little bit. And then to the Mediterranean on this side. And it's pretty close, very close to the Red Sea. Thank you. 
coming up with about um, 1,338 people, something approximately. Something like that. The products at the The density products are available everywhere in the US. Most of the products are available in the market and used for skin, hair, body, as well as salt and wood. Products are sold online in many malls around the country. And the malls that are close to you that have uh, those products um, could be grandma, main place, or even a bottle of orange. And even when we go to these malls, we have um, vendors uh, trying to make people try up um, this stuff and washing their hands. Uh, lastly, customer, customer reviews and Cleopatra Choice assures their 100% satisfaction with all the products as well as Destiny.com. So when the vendors tell you it heals your skin, believe them because it does. So Lori, what did you think? I thought the thesis was very clear and the points she was trying to make in the visual. Um, she did cite some of her things and um, I think the intro needed a little bit of work. Yeah, I like the I like the story, the quote in the intro, but it the delivery undermines it and this is you know, uh, one of those things that it, it ends up sounding like you're reading instead of delivering a speech. So we're going to work on that. Uh, I, the topic's clear. The thesis and the preview are basically the same thing in your presentation. I think you want to have a more specific thesis statement. Uh, I'd agree with the thing that Lori said. I think you could use some more source citation. I thought you started off pretty well on that first point, but after that I didn't hear any additional citations about where information came from. The visuals are okay. Most of the explanations are pretty basic. Um, you know, and I thought you integrated the visuals into the speech reasonably well. Uh, the presentation is a little dry because there's a lot of reading. When you look up, it's a little bit better, but you need to be more involved in the presentation on a regular basis. All right, sorry about the outside noise. I, 